Okay. Hi everyone, Doug back. Now I have the uh, doll making fixture off the milling machine table and onto the workbench. So now we're going to stamp the numerals on the circumference of this doll we're making. I've already uh, stamped uh, 0, 5, 10, and now we're going to go to 15. So how I line up the numbers with the graduations is a pretty easy thing to do. I've made these little, uh, I'll call them a little alignment tool if you will. And um, this one here, it has a V on it, you know, it's a V shape, but it's off-centered. I forget the amount, but uh, anyway, we use this to line up the graduations. And how we do that is we slip this in this holder that's mounted to the fixture and line that up and we drop it down. Now, and then all we do is turn the dial until we feel it. You can feel it click right in. You can feel this click right in the graduation. Okay. So now what we've done, as you notice, this, this is offset. And it being is because we're stamping two numerals. And I want one number on one side of the graduation and one on the other. And I want them spaced apart equally. And that's what this tool does right here. So now we've done 10. So now our graduation, our alignment tool has put our graduation off center, which will allow me to stamp the, numer the number on this side. So in this case now, we're going to stamp 5. So we take the, the number holder, the striker. It has a hardened uh, boss pin up here, a button head, whatever you want to call it there. And we're going to take 5, put it in here. Put all this in the alignment holder here. Drop it down. Make sure everything's tight. And then we're going to strike it. Let's make sure. Okay, we're on that side. All right. You do this one time. If you, if you do it wrong, you got to start all over. And then we'll take the brass hammer. And give her a smack there. And there's a five. So now we'll take the five out and put us a one in. And we'll take this same alignment tool now and flip it over, which will throw the graduation over to the right. Right there it is. I felt it. Okay. And now we'll take one, put in here, make sure everything's good and tight, pulled up tight, snug, and stamp it again. And there's one. So now we have done 15. And I'll rotate this a little bit. Maybe you can see it. I hope you can. And what I did with the others, I just kind of filled them in a little bit with a magic marker. And then I'm going to erase the excess away, and maybe it will highlight that for you. But anyway, there's 15. And that's how this is done. Not uh, rocket science or anything like that. just takes a little time and... Uh, be careful and make sure you stamp in the right number in the right spot because any mistake you make is no good and you'll have to start all over. And uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.